We've been programmed to think of them kind of mystical, or I'm not even sure what we think about. But if, if, if verse 25, and of course these books were going all over when they wrote, if verse, you need to realize verse 25 would have been of the immediate death sentence. Many people don't realize why Christians were martyred in the first century. They weren't martyred because they had nice little fellowship meals. They were martyred because their message was this man Jesus that had just died and they said resurrected, that everybody knew about now, they were saying he was the king, he was the Lord. And look at verse 25, to the only God. The only God was to be Caesar. Caesar said he is God. And if anybody in the Roman Empire said, I am God or somebody else is God, they were death. That was death sentence. That was treasonous. Those first three words alone in the New American, to the only, for God, to the only God, it still is not, Titus. Oh, excuse me. Let me plug it in. Okay, I got it now. Uh, the Amplified says the one and only, yeah, and that's the thought of the, the word, to the only God. Do you realize what that, what that meant in the Roman Empire? See, that, that isn't the gospel. The gospel relates to the good news of right. salvation. This is a statement of fact, and, and then it goes further. Our Savior? Caesar was to be the savior. You, see, we don't realize this in our kind of democratic, somewhat socialistic place. We don't realize what this is. We preach this sermon, and I don't know what you think. Oh, isn't that nice? He's the only God. He's in heaven. And, but the only God, our Savior, through Jesus Christ our Lord, and of course, Lord was master. And then he says, be glory. Caesar was supposed to get all the glory, all the majesty, all the dominion. That means rule. Rule? Are you kidding me? The only ruler? He's the only ruler? And authority? He, has, he is the only one that has authority? There's only one person that has authority. And anyone else that has authority, it's only if it's been delegated by God. And if God has delegated them authority, he will support them. Now, there's many treasonous, there's many rebels, but notice that. He's the only one that has all authority before all time and now and forever. Who? It's amazing we don't say yes, sir, to God. <laughs> Whatever he says. If he says jump, I say, how high? I mean, we do not fear God. And we and the church and Christians are having all sorts of problems, and they don't realize it's because of God's judgment. The Bible says judgment must begin at the house of God. We looked at 1 Corinthians. Remember when we, right after the Lord's Supper, the love feast in 1 Corinthians, he said there, because there was sin, many of you are weak, physically weak. Many of you are sick, that's a, even a worse thing, and many have actually died. And health relates to fearing God. More than anything else, more than how you eat, more than vitamins, more than organic food, your fear of God will affect your health infinitely more than anything biological. There's hundreds of verses on this if you read the book of Proverbs alone. So I believe in eating good. I'm not against eating good. I'm not against, you know, all the health things. But honestly, think of the one promise. He says, if you honor your father and mother, you're going to live well. And you're going to live long. If you take vitamins. Oh. Think of that. I want to tell you... Don't believe John 3.16 if you don't believe the other verses. They're either all right or they're all wrong. Now this, this is going to lead us right back into the, to the book we're going through, and we need to, we're kind of wanting, this is helping us a little bit edit it as we go through it, uh, and a lot are really wanting to get this out in the nation, especially since we've got the elections coming up. 
So I'm going to jump right to it here. And um, so we're going to try, not maybe every Sunday, but try to take about 30 minutes to get through this for our education, for also the video where it's going out to a lot of people. And uh, <clears throat> if you've not been following it, I really d don't want anybody to pop in the middle or just get pieces because this, this is like a puzzle. And if you don't see the pieces and you come in at a later date on this, you will really not understand. You'll either be confused or really become uh, in, in error. Uh, uh, so if you've not gotten the sequence before uh, on this uh, video or message, you really need to go back and hear because we've laid foundation to bring us to this point, political priority. We have seen from the beginning in Genesis, we had already looked at this, that God mandated his people to multiply and rule, quote unquote. God gave that mandate, the first mandate, be fruitful, multiply, and reign and govern. He gave it to Adam and his family. Then he destroyed the world and started over. He gave it to Noah and his family in Genesis 9. And then it still didn't work good, so he started a family that became a whole race, Abraham, and he gave him the same command. That broke down, and in the middle of our history, Jesus, God's own son, started a family, the spiritual family, Jesus' family, God's family. And number four, as you can see up on the screen, Jesus Christ and his spiritual family are for our day. We're in that age right now. You're not in the age of Adam's family, Noah's family, or Abraham's family. You are in one sense with Abraham by faith. But you're specifically a child of God. And you're an heir. So you, you've been adopted, it says, into Jesus Christ and his family. Jesus calls you brother. He calls you sister. It's his family. Now, he's not going to have any other families. He is going to rule. He's giving us a time. It's been about 2,000 years for his family to really do what he asked Adam to do and didn't, was not too successful. Noah to do, who was not too successful. And Abraham, they had success off and on with the, with the nation of Israel. There was times with David's reign and, and some of the other kings that there was a lot of glory. But there was more down than up. And so finally, just like the parable, remember Jesus sent different prophets, he sent different back, he gave that parable where he sent different people back after he planted this, this, this vineyard and all, and they kept killing him. Finally, they, he sent his son, the last one, and they killed the son. That's, that's a picture of Jesus. But we're to be ruling, and, and we looked at this, if you've not seen, the, again, the previous part of this book, uh, where this was laid out. And the church today does not understand this. If we would have shared this, I would have never written this book 150 years ago. All Christians understood this for 1,800 years. This was as common as the gospel is to you. Today, it's, it's utterly lost. And yet there's more on this topic, God's state institution, than there is on God's church, than there is on families. There's more on the state than the other two institutions. Far more than the other two put together. And Christians knew that, and that's why we had reformations and great movements of God. Okay, because they knew they were to reign and they were to rule. That's the mandate. Jesus gave that mandate in the last commission before he resurrected. And if you've not seen that, you have got to go back and understand how the Great Commission is, uh, as we say here, we saw above that Jesus' Great Commission was and is essentially a civil mandate. That does not mean it doesn't include getting the gospel out. It does. But actually, specifically in that verse, it never says get the gospel out. But it says all his commandments, teach him to obey. But it prefaces it, all authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Therefore, go and disciple, not the church, not people, not families, the state, i.e. nation. Disciple the nation. 
were to disciple the nation. You know, you only go as far as your vision is. If your vision is to jump a, a certain distance uh, versus a higher distance, you, you'll never go further than what your vision is. And God's vision was literally, now, I have all authority, so you go...